Welcome back to Trimoran Life. Now, if you watched our last video, then you know that we sailed this boat from Charleston to St. Augustine, Florida, and we discovered a few problems along the way. There is a wrap on the Genoa because the sheet isn't quite long enough. We're not getting our true wind speed in the knot log if it's not working. This eye is supposed to be attached to a bolt on this car, but the threads are stripped. Oh, there it goes. It's so high that it causes it to bind up. Because it doesn't matter whether you've got a new boat or an old boat, you're always gonna have boat problems. And we're gonna try to solve a few of those today. The Calvary has arrived! Hi, Yosh! No pressure for you to get this right first time now. I know, right? Don't worry, we're, we're all only judging you. Oh, I missed. <laughs> Fair enough, it's challenging with the current. We'll pretend you just arrived! Hello! <laughs> Come aboard! Hi, oh, Yosh! What's happening? Are you coming? Yeah! First try. Welcome. Yeah. Welcome to your home. To I know. It's lovely. Fabulous, isn't it? It is a beautiful is day. Oh my gosh. And look at that. Hi. Look at you, girly girl. Hi. Oh, welcome home. Yes. We have the owners, Craig and Katie, aboard, and more importantly, Yoshimi. And we've started already. We got the water maker commission. We are putting in about 10 gallons in. So that thing's running right now. You can barely hear it. It's actually not very loud. And next is the mainsail. When we left Charleston, there was an issue with one of the cars not being connected. The plan is fix it. <laughs> That's what we're going to do now. Craig's already halfway done with it. This is Craig, by the way. Hello. <laughs> Just gotta try not to drop it. Got it. Okay. All right, here we go. So this will just come right off, right? Oh yeah. Look at that. Perfect. Sweet. And then like this. Oh God. Oh. I see him. I got one. One is still in the stack pack. So here's oh, the little thing that needs to be connected and Craig was able just to pull that little section out of the track. Look at that. Pretty clever. Hmm? Surprised that that isn't it's going in nice. It's, maybe it wasn't. It is a bit ripped out. It is a bit janked up, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah. It did rip out. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, this might have just become a bigger project. Yeah. Isn't that always the way? It's always that way. You think it's going to be a simple thing, and it's not. So what do you think happened? Okay, so my guess, this guy kind of spins loose at the back. And this piece wiggled its way off. But then at the very last minute, when it was holding on by three, a few threads, it just pop popped. So this is bust. This is bust. And... We're in the US, so it's easy to get them replaced. That's the main thing. <laughs> so true. Okay, finish that up on Monday. Yep, on to the next job. And this is Katie, everybody. Hello. All right, so quickly tell us your story because you this is your second boat, not your first boat. Second sailboat, yes. The first was a Nordatec 40 Open, which we had for about three and a half years. And we loved that. We sailed all around the Bahamas in it, well, up and down the US coast. And then um, earlier this year, we upgraded to the Neil Trimaran and we love it. This is the part that blew my mind because I'm like, a Nordatec 40. That's a fantastic boat, really pretty decent performance, nice livability. So why on earth would you want to let go of that boat? <laughs> well, first of all, this boat is a lot bigger. You know, it's seven feet longer, it's five feet wider. The, the space is just beautiful, um, especially the cock loon area. So the living space, the galley's big. But for me, the biggest selling point is the, the master bedroom. It's pretty cool to be able to wake up every day and just get panoramic views, you know, of the ocean and of your surroundings. So were you actively looking to buy a new boat or did you just see this and then fell in love? Um, well, the, tr <laughs> the true story is we had just purchased the Nordatec 
and about two or three months later um, our broker had said oh did you see the Neil 47 trimaran like it's awesome like we'll take you for a tour and we stood on board it and we were like oh my god and again we loved our not attack but we looked at the Neil and we're like this is next level oh, you know, so wow. we, we, we knew that this boat for a few years we knew that this was going to be our next boat wow yeah, yeah. That's crazy. You bought a boat and two months later you're like, never mind. I know, I know. But yeah, I mean, obviously both fabulous boats. Uh, this boat is obviously way faster and it's just bigger and yes, yeah. beautiful. So there you have it. That's how they ended up in the Neil. Okay, when did you take delivery? Because it's only been not even a year, about a year? Almost a year, yeah. So mm -hmm. February of this year, beginning of February. So yeah. brand new baby. Yeah, we've already taken it around the French Caribbean and Puerto Rico and yeah, British Virgin Islands, US Virgin Islands. So we've done, we've done quite a fair yeah. amount on it. So they've had a pretty, pretty good haul for like their first season. And then of course, it, hurricane season comes along. So you got to kind of get out of the, out of the zone for that, which is how they ended up in Charleston. And then, yeah, now they're going home to visit family in Scotland and we get the boat until then, if you can believe that, pretty wild. Our boat and our puppy. And I know, <laughs> Yosh is joining us. Oh, Yosh, we're gonna see a lot of this face. I'm so excited. She's an awesome boat dog. Yes, she is. Yep, she's been a cruiser since she was about nine weeks old. And I would say that she prefers boat life to land life. Which, really? Well, hey, don't all us sailors enjoy. Okay. True, <laughs> all right. It. Well, Yosh, you can show us how it's done. So at least we have one qualified crew member on board. <laughs> When sailing is good, it's amazing. It has been champagne sailing. It is absolutely beautiful. But when it's not, it can be hard on the mind and body, especially when we're on a long passage and our sleep is all out of whack. Jason's gone down for a little nap. I don't know how much sleep he's gonna be able to get in these sea conditions, but I feel like he can sleep in this. He can sleep through anything. So if there is one thing that I can recommend, it would be AG1. And yes, they are the sponsor of this portion of the video, but we started drinking this long before they became a sponsor because it is just the easiest and the tastiest all in one supplement. It's the first thing we reach for each morning. It's just one scoop and eight ounces of cold water. And I like to add an ice cube. It's loaded with 75 vitamins, minerals, superfoods, probiotics, and more. It supports our gut health, immunity, energy, and focus. So if it's been a rough day and I'm feeling wiped, this is what I reach for. And it's NSF certified, which lets us know that what is on the label is actually in the powder. It's not for dogs. So it's legit, which is why it's recommended by athletes, neuroscientists, and doctors. And right now, Athletic Greens will give you a year supply of vitamin D plus five travel packs for free with your first purchase. Just click the link in the description. Okay, Yosh, you go for a walk? Yes, you wanna go for a walk. Let's go, let's go. What are you up to? This was one of the things that was tricky on our sails. This boat is still new and at that, they had taken everything off for uh, hurricane season. just kind of rigged everything back up so we're taking the boat out for the first time and we're discovering all the little things like one the general line was a little too short we need one longer to reel it back in so when the sail is furled in the drum is empty it should be like this one where you have some line in there still empty normal and so I'm swapping that line out and I did confirm that yes they do always run it through here so that you don't get binds whenever you're furling it back in which we did eventually figure out, but it took us a little bit. So I'm replacing a line. That's what I'm doing. This knot is gonna be hard to get out. You need a screwdriver? Yeah. It was so beautiful and sunny. And now the sun has gone into the clouds. And it's 
cold. We're in Florida. The people in Minnesota are going, screw yeah, you. They're like, whatever. It is not cold. You're still wearing shorts. <laughs> You're correct. It is not that cold. Just gotta crack the seal. Oh, great success. Okay, make sure you remember clockwise or counterclockwise. I know, right? Don't want to do it wrong. That is clockwise. Well, it's easy enough. This is why it's always great when you have the existing line. And then take this one. Okay. I'll come back in an hour when you're done. <laughs> ah, hey, one task has at least been completed. Still a couple wraps in the drum. Perfect. Okay. Vinny. Oh, this little holds. All tidy. Ta da. Hello. <laughs> what are you working on now? So now. Um, we are connecting a charger for the tender because it has so many goodies in there We need to make sure the battery stays topped up. So when we go out rocking and I mean literally rocking <laughs> The tender will literally rock um, It needs it needs power. So that's what we're working on now Music roll charger. Music I rocking. know that's exactly. how I was like, I don't think people are gonna get that reference Rock it like, you know ah, da, da, da. Yeah, music. <laughs> I don't see a diagram for the jumper well, I tried all the three positions and it didn't seem to do that. <laughs> I guess it's that then. Here's the manual real quick if, you, if something jumps out at you. I mean, it doesn't seem like there should ever be a time when no lights are on. Yeah. Obviously, a bit of a project going on there. But we need a part, so I'm going to take all of these little bits and tape them together and tape them onto that box so that we don't lose them. Because many of projects in the past, we have not done that. And then we forget where we put all the stuff that we needed. And this way it stays with the project that it's needed for. This is part of the powering the tender thing, but we're missing a part. Yeah, the charger is bad. Ah. That thing you floating there next to you. This? Yeah, that, that? that's bad. Oh, yeah. Aww. OK keep it all together doing one of these numbers because we need all that again later. Now it will be safely together when we get ready to come back to that project in another day or two. That's it. Wrap. I'm out of here. This is an easy one. Nikki got one. She got an easy one so I need a win too. This is hatch is leaking a little bit from this top bit. I think it's just kind of loose. So I'm going to repair a leaky hatch. Nobody likes a leaky hatch. Uh -oh. Damn it, I just wanted to win. Did you just break it? No, it's not, uh, it's not tightening. Like maybe there's supposed to be a, a seal or a gasket or something and it's just not one. Um, is there another hatch that's similar that we can check? On there. Thought that was a guaranteed easy win. Uh, See, so you went into it too, yeah, too, too cocky. Should know better. So I'm gonna have to do a water test. Okay. Yeah, it's leaking. So I'm not crazy? You're not crazy. It is leaking. Okay. So then I wonder if the others are leaking too. Or if it's just that one. Maybe there's just a gasket missing. Uh, maybe, or maybe that one. I mean, you saw it. You could go try that one. You could try that other. Go try a different one. That one's on the bed. <laughs> Put it down, though. Okay, do you tell us, good doctor. What have you discovered? So two of the hatches are leaky and loose, like the one that we water tested, but two of them are not. And it looks like, from disassembling a good one, this is a good one. This is a leaky one. This little female portion of the thread is sticking up quite a bit further. 
So I think that could be the reason it's loose and leaking. You could try the non-leaky one on the leaky one oh, yeah. and see if it solves the problem. I think I just get a hammer and a chisel and just knock this down. <laughs> so this is the solution to our leak. Am I still in the frame? Yep. <sighs> so you're just pushing it down? Yeah. That's it. That's it. Because it was up, that was the issue. Yep. Yeah. Crazy. Well, you sorted it out. Congratulations! Win! I get a win! Yay! <laughs> and Craig, any wins for you? No. We figured out lots of broken <laughs> things. So, like usual, a small project turned into a big project. But, but we know what the big projects are, so that's still success. That's right. At least, for, hey, shakedown crews now, way better than figuring these things out in the Bahamas. Oh, right? yeah. Mm -hmm. We can probably get one of these just over there. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> We can dingy there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Meat shrink, wire crampers, some strippers, some hummus, all the typical stuff you see on the table. What do you think, Yosh? Hmm? How's your day? Have you had any wins? Yeah. And there you go. There's Craig in every sailor's favorite place. Digging around in the bilge. How is it? Two of the leaky ones worked. I think this one might be, it's not working. Oh no. It's getting pulled out. So maybe some epoxy, maybe you have to replace this plastic piece. I'll put it in the shower, because it doesn't matter. There you go. It's a very long process. Not quite used to the kisses yet. It's temporary. This is the we have the charger. Oh, to charge. That's only a little sketchy. Temporarily charging the battery. <laughs> That's fine. Oh. It's fine. Uh huh? Fine. So <laughs> now you're gonna um, put in some diesel right next to your electric line that's floating in the water. That's what you're telling me? Yeah, diesel's not flammable. This is a how not to video. Don't do anything or repeat anything you see. So, one thing that they just bought is something that I had always wanted, and we told them about it, and they were like, that's so cool. Because fueling this thing up is kind of a pain with the direction that it is and then how low it is. So now we can do one of these. Take this very phallic looking thingy. Aha, uh -huh. got that part. <laughs> you stick it in here. You put it in the hole. Yep. <laughs> you screw it, <laughs> naturally. Oh god. And then. We take this other phallic looking thingy, stick it in this hole. And it has like a, a groove to follow the screws, so it fits in there perfectly. Now, look at that! Look at that! We're pumping diesel! Ha ah ha! Cool! <laughs> Don't you love it? Always. Always. Never a dull moment with you, Jason. <laughs> so cool! And you can actually see it. Mm -hmm. See? Yes, we see. You see it? Yeah. It's working. I love it when stuff like that just works. Hey, look, it's your easy win. Exactly. Now imagine trying to hold a jerry jug upside down. You know? This is just... This so much better. So much better. We'll put a, a that we got that on Amazon, so we'll put a link to that. Oh, yeah. It's not a sponsored anything, but it uh, is amazing. The brand is I have no idea. Yeah. <laughs> Yay, that's brilliant. And what are you working on? So this is awesome. We had a little chip out of this thing, and well, we're never gonna find that. And like a month later, you texted us. You're like, oh, we found this funny little plastic thing that looks like it's <laughs> important, but it actually goes on here. So. Like, Don't throw it away. We need that. <laughs> yeah, brilliant. Yeah, Boater life.
any simple looking little piece that of plastic so could be a very yeah, important yeah. part. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Perfect. As good as new. <laughs> and what is that piece of acrylic you're holding? That is the door to the Amas, which I hope I'm pronouncing correctly. Amas? Amas? I, I, I guess the jury's was. still out. I have Amas no idea. Or, I'm a little bit more. Good luck. There we go. Oh, that's nice. As good as new. Perfect. Good as well, new, baby. done. Yay! <laughs> One more thing done. Yeah, is there anything left on the list? I think that, that was it. Just tidying up. Yeah. Uh, d how did you get along with the uh, bilge? Uh, well, I, had, I think I need a quick shower, um, but for the most part, <laughs> yeah. I think is it functioning? It seems to be functioning. <laughs> okay, fantastic. Woohoo! Okay, so we're getting very close. Yeah. We can clean up and go play. Are you guys seeing this? This is amazing, huh? Look at that. Not a single drop. Nailed it. <laughs> Perfect. Now, can you get it across without there being any fuel? For sure. I haven't dropped the drop yet. Boom. <laughs> so satisfying. Okay, you're not a tech. So, is there any one feature, anything about that boat that you miss? Um, not that it's like better or anything like that. Just like what was like a cool feature of that boat that you're like, that was really cool. I kind of missed that. I think I, so. It's not a feature, but I would say the price. Like for <laughs> for what for what it cost, it is an amazing starter boat. I mean, it's it's fast, it's comfortable, it's fun, it was simple. Um, so. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I think that's my way of saying I love that boat. There's, not, there's nothing I necessarily miss because this one is just better in every way. But it's <laughs> okay, price yeah, price. <laughs> yeah, fair enough, fair enough. Okay, so then on this boat, what's like, uh, we already know Katie, so I'll get to you in a second. What do you have a favorite feature that right. isn't also Katie's favorite feature? <laughs> okay, so yeah, almost certainly. So my, I spent two years on the Nordatec kind of dreaming about what I wanted the next boat to be like. Um, and I'm an engineer, so I, I had all the way down to the components and the, the electrical diagram, I had it all in my mind. Um, so I, I think the thing that got me most excited about this was being able to design all of that from the ground up. And our dealer, Alex, is amazing. He like, fought with Neil to get everything that we wanted. Um, so my favorite thing about this boat is that it just feels completely... I mean, that part feels... Ours. Ours, ours, <laughs> but the ele electrical system kind of feels mine, um, which is huge, because when you're out there and things break, we want to change things, knowing it all is, is huge. Um, so, yeah, the ability to personalize it and make it our own, and um, yeah, I think, I think that's... From that's scratch, because like that's kind of the out of the gate, not like retrofitting or piecemealing, you know, because like the Nordatec, it's like there's already so much stuff that you're only replacing or only doing. Right. 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 And the Nordatec, we, we picked it up in Miami when it was, it was new, but it had already been built. Mm -hmm. And this we commissioned, so it's, mm -hmm. it's just a different, it's a different feeling when you get to pick the fabrics and draw the diagrams and pick the sails and... I mean, it's it's a really fun process. We went to France for a couple of couple trips to, to yeah. see it all. Um, I mean, it's amazing because it feels like a part of you. Boats already have personalities, but once you saw it grow up, yeah, it's everything. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Katie, tell us your favorite. Favorite feature on this boat or yeah. one from the Nord attack that I missed? Oh, well, okay, if you got one from each. Well, I'll start with the Nauta Tech. I'll be honest, I, so Craig and I, we like to cook a lot and we love eating outdoors and I really miss the old teak wood, the massive teak wood table on the outside on the old That's boat. That's true, that was beautiful. Um, this one's lovely, but yeah, that, that other one was really, really special. Um, and then yeah, favourite feature on this boat, it has to be the, the master cabin. Like, oh, yeah. it's just It's just magical, waking up every day and just getting again pa like panoramic views of your surroundings it's it, it, it'll we've talked a little bit about like what our next boat could be if it's like five ten years down the line and i don't know <laughs> i don't know i'm gonna go back to you know being like In down to the time below like it's just it's such a luxury being up here isn't it we, we think of this like a new york city apartment yes. that also has yeah. fairly good sailing performance and you can move anywhere. So mm -hmm. 
I think that's the trick, right? It's, mm -hmm. It doesn't feel like a boat. You kind of forget you're on a boat sometimes, and then you remember that you can move it and sail with it, and it's just too exciting. I like that. It's a sexy Manhattan studio <laughs> on the water. There you go. <laughs> that you can move. Yeah. <sighs> nice. Aw. Well, thanks for helping us out today, guys. I, we still... Mm, here. So I haven't done a very good job of properly introducing you as far as um, kind of their backstory and all that kind of stuff. So maybe another day because we've spent all day on projects and now we, we really want to kind of like go get a sundowner and do something fun. So we're going to do that. And Yoshi's ready to go too. And Yoshi's <laughs> ready to go. She's ready to go. Take me out. Take me out. Let's go play. Yes. Let's go to the parking lot. Cut to sunset. <laughs>